Everyone wants to know when they can return to play after an ACL reconstruction, but what is the right time? We investigated this in a Henry Ford and Rush Hospital collaboration evaluating NFL athletes. In this article, recently published by the Journal of Arthroscopy, we looked at 130 NFL players who underwent ACL reconstruction between 2009 and 2015. We then compared return to play times in those requiring ACL reconstruction to those who did not require a revision. We also evaluated the time to, from return to re-injury in the group. The average return to play for the revision and non-revision group was between 58 and 50 weeks or one year. There was no difference in return to play time between the groups. When looking more closely at the data, the orange bars represents return to play in the group that did not have a re-injury, while the blue represents re-injured players. When looking at those who return to play between five and seven months and between seven and 10 months, two times as many players return to play without re-injury than those who re-injure their ACL. The majority of players who rupture the ACL between 10 and 12 months, a time point beyond most physician clearance. This suggests that time to return was not a significant factor in these players' injuries. Risk of graft failure is dependent on many factors, including graft type, fixation method, tunnel positions, and concomitant injuries. Two time-dependent factors are graft strength and functional rehabilitation. Evidence has shown that graft strength is likely equivalent to the strength of original ACL somewhere between six and nine months. This suggests that most of these players' ACL grafts were at normal strength at their return. When looking at weeks from return to play to re-injury, we found that 56% of players re-ruptured their ACL within two and a half months of returning to gameplay. This suggests other factors contributing to the spike of re-rupture rates upon return. Another factor in return to play is appropriate functional rehab, including return to normal strength, functional mechanics including running, jumping, cutting, and landing, and proprioception. Additionally, there's no uniform return to play functional test in athletes, which leads to a widespread variety in clearance of return to play. These are factors that can be improved in the future. You can read the full article on arthroscopyjournal.org, and I'd like to thank my co-authors and everyone that was involved in this project.